The Complete Poems of Emily Dickinson Third Series Chapter 2 Love Poem 1 Consecration Proud of my broken heart, since thou didst break it. Proud of the pain I did not feel till thee. Proud of my night, since thou with moons dost slake it. Not to partake thy passion, my humility. Poem 2 Love's Humility My worthiness is all my doubt, his merit all my fear. Contrasting which, my qualities do lowlier appear. Lest I should insufficient prove for his beloved need, the chiefest apprehension within my loving creed. So I, the undivine abode of his elect content, conform my soul as it were a church unto her sacrament. Poem 3 Love Love is anterior to life, posterior to death, initial of creation, and the exponent of breath. Poem 4 Satisfied One blessing had I than the rest, so larger to my eyes that I stopped gauging, satisfied, for this enchanted size. It was the limit of my dream, the focus of my prayer, a perfect paralyzing bliss, contented as despair. I knew no more of want or cold, phantasms both become, for this new value in the soul, supremest earthly sum. The heaven below the heaven above, obscured with rudier hue, life's latitude leant over full, the judgment perished too. Why joys so scantily disperse? Why paradise defer? Why floods are served to us in bowls? I speculate no more. Poem 5 With a Flower When roses cease to bloom, dear, and violets are done, when bumblebees in solemn flight have passed beyond the sun, the hand that paused to gather upon this summer's day will idle lie in Auburn. Then take my flower, pray. Poem 6 Song Summer for thee grant I may be when summer days are flown. Thy music still when whippoorwill and oriole are done. For thee to bloom, I'll skip the tomb and sow my blossoms over. Pray, gather me, anemone, thy flower forevermore. Poem 7 Loyalty Split the lark, and you'll find the music. Bulb after bulb, in silver rolled, scantily dealt to the summer morning, saved for your ear when lutes be old. Loose the flood, you shall find it patent. Gush after gush, reserved for you. Scarlet experiment, skeptic Thomas, now do you doubt that your bird was true? Poem 8 To lose thee, sweeter than to gain all other hearts I knew. It is true, the drought is destitute, but then I have the dew. The Caspian has its realms of sand, its other realm of sea. Without the sterile perquisite, no Caspian could be. Poem 9 Poor little heart, did they forget thee? Then dinna care, then dinna care. Proud little heart, did they forsake thee? Be debonair, be debonair. Frail little heart, I would not break thee. 
Couldest credit me? Couldest credit me? Gay little heart, like morning glory, thou wilted be, thou wilted be. Poem 10. Forgotten. There is a word which bears a sword, can pierce an armed man. It hurls its barbed syllables, at once is mute again. But where it fell, the saved will tell on patriotic day. Some appalled brother gave his breath away. Wherever runs the breathless sun, wherever roams the day, there is its noiseless onset, there is its victory. Behold the keenest marksman, the most accomplished shot. Time's sublimest target is a soul forgot. Poem 11. I've got an arrow here. Loving the hand that sent it, I the dart revere. Fell, they will say, in skirmish. Vanquished, my soul will know, by but a simple arrow, sped by an archer's bow. Poem 12. The Master. He fumbles at your spirit, as players at the keys, before they drop full music on. He stuns you by degrees, prepares your brittle substance for the ethereal blow, by fainter hammers, further heard, then nearer, then so slow. Your breath has time to straighten your brain to bubble cool, deals one imperial thunderbolt that scalps your naked soul. Poem 13 Heart, we will forget him, you and I tonight. You may forget the warmth he gave, I will forget the light. When you have done, pray tell me, that I my thoughts may dim. Haste, lest while you're lagging, I may remember him. Poem 14 Father, I bring thee not myself, that were the little load. I bring thee the imperial heart I had not strength to hold. The heart I cherished in my own, till mine too heavy grew. Yet strangest, heavier since it went, is it too large for you? Poem 15 We outgrow love like other things and put it in the drawer, till it an antique fashion shows like costumes grandsires wore. Poem 16 Not with a club the heart is broken, nor with a stone. A whip, so small you cannot see it. I've known to lash the magic creature till it fell. Yet, that whip's name, too noble then to tell. Magnanimous of bird, by boy described, To sing unto the stone, of which it died. Poem 17 Who? My friend must be a bird, because it flies. Mortal my friend must be, because it dies. Barbs has it like a bee. Ah, curious friend, thou puzzlest me. Poem 18 He touched me, so I live to know that such a day, permitted so, I groped upon his breast. It was a boundless place to me, and silenced as the awful sea puts minor streams to rest. And now I'm different from before, as if I breathed superior air, or brushed a royal gown. My feet too, that had wandered so. My gypsy face transfigured now to tenderer renown. 
Poem 19 Dreams Let me not mar that perfect dream By an auroral stain, But so adjust my daily night That it will come again. Poem 20 Newman Lumen I live with him, I see his face, I go no more away for visitor or sundown, death's single privacy, the only one forestalling mine, and that by right, that he presents a claim invisible, no wedlock granted me. I live with him, I hear his voice, I stand alive today to witness to the certainty of immortality. Taught me by time, the lower way, conviction every day, that life like this is endless, be judgment what it may. Poem 21 Longing I envy seas whereon he rides, I envy spokes of wheels, of chariots that him convey, I envy speechless hills, that gaze upon his journey. How easy all can see what is forbidden utterly as heaven unto me. I envy nests of sparrows that dot his distant eaves. The wealthy fly upon his pain, the happy, happy leaves that just abroad his window have summer's leave to be. The earrings of Pizarro could not obtain for me. I envy light that wakes him, and bells that boldly ring, to tell him it is noon abroad, myself his noon could bring, yet interdict my blossom, and abrogate my bee, lest noon in everlasting night drop Gabriel and me. Poem 22 Wedded. A solemn thing it was, I said, a woman white to be, and where, if God should count me fit, her hallowed mystery. A timid thing to drop a life into the purple well, too plummetless that it come back, eternity until. <laughs>